I love to ride my four-wheeler. It's just pretty much my best friend whenever I feel bored. I'll go ride my four-wheeler. An ATV is fun, but it's not a toy. If you use them in an improper manner, they can definitely hurt you. Like this one, this one's a 300 pound, a 400 pound, and an 800 pound. If those go on top of you, they can seriously hurt you. Riding an ATV is a big responsibility. Kids are often hurt on machines that are way too big or too powerful for their size. There's stickers on the ATVs that have an age on them. And if you're under the age, that means the ATV is not recommended for you. The bigger the ATV, the more strength and experience you need to have. You need to make sure the ATV is a proper fit to you. I'm not wearing my safety gear right now because I want to show you how to make sure your ATV is a proper fit for you. Your thigh needs to be parallel to the ground and your foot needs to be on the footrest. You have to be able to reach the foot brake easily just by rotating your foot. You also have to be able to push it down completely. You need to be sure you can also reach all the hand controls easily. A good thing to check is to make sure the first joint of your pointer finger can go beyond the brake handles and you can squeeze them completely. Another thing to be sure of is I can squeeze the brake handles completely while turning. If I can't, then the ATV is too big for me. I also need to be sure that I have three inches of space in between my legs while standing so I can maneuver back and forth. You need to know where your controls are on your ATV without looking. Once I was riding my ATV in front of my house and a deer ran out in front of me, I didn't have time to look down and see where my controls were, but I knew that I needed to squeeze my brakes and lean back. If you're not old enough to make responsible choices while riding an ATV, then you can seriously hurt people around you or yourself very easily. All these ATVs may look different, but they have one thing in common. This seat is one rider, this seat is one rider, and this seat is one rider. One seat, one rider. These tires are made to handle off-road, not on pavement. You can tell by the big knobs for grabbing into dirt, not hard surfaces. This thing is great. I can get on it, reach all the controls, but it's too powerful. It's an 850 and weighs 800 pounds. I don't think I'm ready for this. Once you have a machine that's the proper size and matches your experience level, you need the proper gear. You need a certified helmet. That's DOT approved, Department of Transportation. It has a little sticker in the back. If it doesn't have a visor, you need goggles. And last but not least, gloves that properly fit your hands. Also, you need long sleeves, long pants, and boots that go above the ankle with a short heel. Proper operation. It's important to have an adult show you how to ride an ATV safely because they have more experience. My dad taught me to ride my four-wheeler. He showed me how to do it. He let me try it. And if I didn't do something right, he could correct it a little bit, and I'd learn off that. In Vermont, it's required to have a safety certificate in order to ride off your own land. Even if you ride on your own property, it's still a good idea to take a safety course. ATV safety is important for everybody of all ages, but especially for younger people, because we get hurt more often. Time to ride.